Hey there guys, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how we can create some cool depth of field effects inside of After Effects. And you can see we have an example here which we're going to go ahead and take a look at now. So you'll see there that when it starts off here, the background is in focus and the foreground is blurred out. And as we scrub through the video, we're going to get some nice pool focus happening. And it really does add some nice sharpness into your videos. Now this is really easy to do inside of After Effects, it probably takes maybe 5 or 10 minutes. So let's go ahead inside that and get started. So here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is import our footage. Now for this tutorial I'll just go ahead and use the one in the example. So you'll find that, go ahead and open that. And we're just going to drag this into a new composition here. And you see this is our raw footage. Now to go ahead and use a depth of field effect, we're going to need to do a depth of map. Now to do that we can go to Layer, New Solid, and we'll call this Black, and make sure the colour is completely black. And then we'll also make another new layer, but we'll call this one White, and make the colour completely white. Now the way a depth map works, it uses a luminous channel, so anything that's white will be blurred and anything that's black will be unblurred. So here is when we need to go ahead and take a look at our shot, so we'll just shut these off for now. And we can see our footage here. So what we want to do is make sure our background here is blurred and here is in focus. So if we grab our white layer and we're just going to grab the pen tool and we're just going to mask out this background here. And if we hit F on this layer here and we're just going to feather it out. And we'll also turn on our black layer back on. So now you'll see that you'll be left with a black and white look. And if we just drag these out a bit more. And it's up to you how much you feather it. It depends how smooth you want the depth of field to occur. Maybe about there. And once you're happy with that, we'll go ahead and click on both the black and white layers. Go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll call this Depth Map. And make sure it's move all attributes into the new composition, and we'll click OK. Now once we have our depth map, we can go ahead and shut that off. And now we want to apply the actual effect. So if we go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we'll just rename this to Depth of Field. And we'll go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Camera Lens Blur. And this is where all of the depth of field happens. So within this effect, we can go to our Blur Map and choose our layer, which we just made as the depth map. And you'll see that changes slightly there. And we can go ahead and increase our blur radius. And you'll see where we made it white, it's going to blur out, and where it's black, it's not. Now one thing you want to ensure that you've actually got ticked it's that repeat edge pixels, and you'll see here, when we turn that on, you're just going to get rid of that black edge that we have on our composition. Now we're already pretty much there, we just need to go ahead and keyframe it. So we can go to the start of our composition, and we'll use the blur focal distance, and we can play around with this. So we'll have the background in blur here, we'll maybe set this to 35. And we'll go ahead and click the stopwatch on the blur focal distance and that's at 1. So if we scrub forward now to the end of our composition, we can just move this down until our foreground is in focus. And maybe that is about right. And you'll see now when we scrub through, if we do a RAM preview, you'll see that we have that nice pool focus effect happening. So here it's in focus and it moves across and now our foreground is in focus. And if we just scrub through here. So that is pretty much there is to it. There's a few other settings that you can go ahead and play with. Like, for example, the shape of the blur. If you have a look around here, we can change this to anything we want, so maybe a square, triangle. I would recommend keeping hexagon, as that is the most realistic effect if you're going for that look. Uh, we've also got some gain and some threshold just to make sure it looks all good when it's blurred out. And the aspect ratio, usually you want to keep that on 1, but I mean you can go ahead and change it to get some weird abstract looking effects. Go ahead and leave that on 1 for now. And that is pretty much how you do that. After you've done that, you can just go ahead, add a new adjustment layer. And this is where you can just go ahead and add all your color correction on. So we'll add a curve. Darken this down a little bit. Play around with the blue channels. And decrease this. Maybe add a nice glow onto these. this down a bit and you'll see now that is 
a really easy and quick way to get some nice depth of field effects. It's not completely accurate, but it's a nice quick technique which you can just add onto any video and it gives this really nice result. So I hope that was helpful. Please remember to request more tutorials and I'll be doing loads more from now on. Uh, yeah, so hope this helps. See you guys later. Bye.